Assalamualaikum and a very good day to you all. In this video, I would like to show you on how to sketch a square root or third functions. Now, if we can can express the root and third function in this form, the one that I just highlighted in yellow here, in the form of a third x plus b plus c, then it's easier for us to take out uh, crucial information from the equation. Now, what we can do is... Um, but before that, I want to show you uh, the origin, the nature of set function. Okay, set function is where it's a curve that starts from a point over here, namely an origin, and then go like that. Okay, it's going up and also towards to the right, slanted a little bit. Okay, now this is the example for uh set x okay now if it's going up and but slanted to the left then it's a graph of set minus x okay and the next two is going downwards but slanted to the right okay this is um minus set x and lastly from origin going downwards but slanted to the uh, left this is uh, minus set minus x so having said that mm -hmm. this four okay this four so uh, we it can help us okay to sketch it uh, f faster now first thing first is we, it's important for us to find the starting point whereby we want to pull the a curve out of it okay so it's easy to find that just look at x plus b okay and then let it to be equal zero and then we solve it lah in this case it's minus b and how to get y it's even easier just take whatever plus c that we have yeah plus c means uh, i want to I, I just tell you plus c because it means that we have to take the sign in front of c as well okay so if there's a negative, it means that we have to take it as well. And second, we look at the coefficient of set or in this form, in this equation that I wrote upstairs, is the value of A, the one in blue. Eh? Okay, uh, what we can see is that if it's positive, if A is greater than 0, then the possible curve is these two. Okay. It's on top. It's either this one or this one. Okay. Uh, so, if it's, uh, it's either this one or this one, yeah. So, if it's less than zero, it's either those two, the other two down here. Okay. So, yeah. So, when we know which uh, uh, the graph is going up or going down, we will look whether the curve is going to the right or to the left so how we're going to do that we can look at the coefficient of x which is located inside this bracket so if the coefficient of x is greater than zero it means that the curve is going up something like this or something eh, wait, up. oh sorry going to the right so it's like that or like this or if it's less than zero then it's going to the left so something like this or something like this yeah so when we know that afterwards we need to find x or y intercept when applicable yeah so let's start with the first example here maybe i just let the instructions on the left hand side now first thing first we need to find the stationary point easy take this whole thing x plus 3 equals 0 x minus 3 and then y is minus 2. Take everything, copy, paste. Therefore, the point is at minus 3, minus 2. Okay. Now, second. Second, we look at the coefficient of a, uh, coefficient of third, or namely, the value of a. Now, 3 is greater than 0. Therefore, the graph is going, going up. So, it's either this one or this one. Okay, now. The third one. The third one, we have to look at the coefficient of x. So, as you can see over here, I highlighted the coefficient is 1. So, 1 is greater than 0. So, it means it's 
uh, going to the right. So from the selection here, okay, the only curve that is going to the right is this one. So we well we are having this one. Okay, and then four ah uh, four we do later eh. So maybe we uh, put the axis here first. Okay. X and Y and then we have minus 3 minus 2 somewhere here minus 3 minus 2 this is minus 3 and this is minus 2 now the kind of the curve that we want is like this right so we are going to just pull it like that but uh, as you can see here the line is closer to the um, to the origin so there are three possibilities. Eh? It's either the black line is going through a uh, Y positive or is going to the positive uh, zero Y, zero intersect, or oh, this one more or less like the same color, maybe blue. Okay, or maybe something like this. Okay, so we are going to decide which one. Yeah. So how do I how do we going to do that? By having the X intersect or Y in intersect now um maybe f we need we find y intersect eh? y intersect when x is zero so when x is zero y equals three set zero plus three minus two okay so alamak where's my i didn't bring my calculator so we have three set three minus two i i believe that's the that's positive but okay so the value i have a calculator with me here so the value is uh, 3.196 okay so it's it's a positive value so the y must be positive so uh, from the red red uh it's not the red one, okay, as you can see here, because the red one going through y equals 0, the blue one is also not possible because it's going a negative y value, okay, so the black one is the the way to go for the uh, shape of fx, okay, so we label that, okay, let's do another one, yeah, so the first one is uh, getting the starting point, starting point starting point is uh, the x is minus with uh, minus 3 minus x equals 0 okay and then we have x uh, minus 3 and then y is uh, 2 okay next is the direction okay number 2 is going up or going down okay in order to do that we need to look at the value just in front of the set the, the coefficient of set so it's minus 1 less than 0 so it's going down. so it's either this one or this one yeah okay next the, the third one is knowing whether it's uh, towards the right or towards the left yeah? so how to how to know that let's have a look at this value it's minus x minus x is minus one also less than zero so it's going to the left so the one that we want is this one so the curve should be like this okay and then uh, number four uh, we 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 sketch it first, then we decide whether it's, re it's relevant for our sketching or not. So, put the point. Point is minus 3, 2. Minus 3, 2 is so somewhere here. Minus 3, 2. Okay. So, it's from here and going downwards to the left. So, we have a X intercept here. Okay. So, in this case, it's not possible for us to get the y intercept because the y intercept does not exist so the only uh, intercept that we can get is x intercept so x intercept is when y equals 0 so 0 equals 2 minus third minus 3 minus x and then we proceed so we have minus 2 minus third minus 3 minus x and then we have 2 third minus 3 minus x and then we have 4 minus 3 minus x and then x bring over there minus 7 so this value is minus 7 so the intersect is minus 7 okay that's the sketching oh uh, i forgot to label the function so fx okay so that's it thank you for your time and attention assalamualaikum have a good day